All right, what's up, guys? So today I'm going to show you uh, quickly how to send a document in Skyslope for e-signature. Um, real simple to do, so I should be able to get through this pretty quickly. Let me just share my screen here. All right, here we go. So uh, let me make it a little bigger here. All right, so you're going to come over here into your Skyslope account. Uh, this is the button just to send a document. It's got nothing to do with making a transaction or any of that stuff. Um, so just hit this button. New envelope. Um, this is where you can automatically have documents dropped back into a uh, folder that you already have in your Skyslope account. Um, only do this, obviously, on fully signed documents. Uh, but in general, you don't have to do that immediately. So you can just select no property. I'm going to grab a document. All right, here, this is where you add the people that are going to be signing. And you select here if you wanted to add people to be carbon copied. And this is where if you don't have to sign, you can leave it unchecked. Um, and I'll show you one other trick here. If you happen to forget to tag yourself and realize later as you're filling this out, if you had to say, oops, I do need to sign something, you can just hit the back button, click here, add yourself, and then hit next. Okay. And also, let me show you, if you wanted to CC people or let's say uh, this person was only going to get a copy, you could do that. Um, and, you know, my recommendation on contracts and stuff, you carbon copy the other agent so they get it immediately upon signature. So, all right. So here's all your uh, options for what people can do on this contract. So in here, we're going to just sign the last page signature Boom. that's one that's two switch it out and then you can hit the date signed or skip it because it's going to be in the final form up to you preference and or state requirements i'll tell you uh, the best way to handle that Owner, owner, this person, that's going to be me, Her. and then when there's only one spot, you can just pick one of the sellers because they usually sign on the same day, or one of the parties, I should say. Um, If you had to fill out a spot here, let's say I forgot this, you would put a writable field, click here, and then let's say I was there and I wanted to put right? That's a way to fill that out, and then somebody would have to actually check off on that. So initials are easy. Shortcut, put all the people at one spot. And again, and switch it. Now 
And let's say these check boxes were not filled out already. You could add a check box like this, put it here, and then pick which party it is. You can check it for them, have them uncheck, whatever. Um, and then here. CIS for sellers, we're going to do signature, one, two, there's no, checked off, date signed, that simple. Um, now I'll show you a couple more tricks, but you come up here, hit send. And this is what your client gets. They get an email that says, please sign. They come here, select their signature, hit the I agree button, start their signature process. And that's my signature and submit. So that's what they get. Now, if you ever have to come in here and, and they didn't get the email or anything like that, you can always go into your sent items. And this is where you can edit or resend. If you made a typo on their email account, address you change it here hit resend um, if you had to edit the entire document you hit this correct envelope button and it'll cancel the first one and move signatures around if you miss something or had to change a price or a term that's how you do that as well so uh that's it and uh i think yeah that is let's see here that's it. So uh, any questions, feel free to reach out. Hope this helps you guys in your real estate business. Uh, if I can ever help you, reach out. Thanks.